But for now, Let's all they need to do the... is just to win this game. Bounce back. Just bounce back. No excuses, no explanation. Just to win. We need a win. And a clean sheet will be good for them. Hello guys, this is the Liquid Sports Show, they call me Vincent. And my name is Brian Werimo. Another episode of the uh, Champions League, Europa League loading in the midweek. Mm -hmm. And we have, we got to focus on four matches. Yep. Four important matches. Mm -hmm. And of course you have another episode for the English Premier League. So yes. So that's going to be done later. Yes. But for now, uh, let's focus on uh, the first big match on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Chelsea hosting Borussia Dortmund, Dortmund at Stamford mm -hmm. Bridge. Uh, start from 11 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. time. What do you think about this match? Uh, yeah, I had predicted Chelsea to go to a signal in Iduna Park and come back home uh, with no points and it happened. Defeat, yes. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think uh, Chelsea are going to head out of this uh, tournament. No hatred for Chelsea fans, forgive me, but I think uh, Chelsea are not in a good position to uh, move forward in this uh, tournament. And uh, yeah, we saw Adeyami score a fantastic goal, went past um, Kepa. Uh, Kepa. Kepa. Kepa and, uh, the and, and the most expensive Premier League signing, <laughs> <laughs> Enzo Fernandez. And uh, he might not score in this match again, but Borussia Dortmund are going to take a result home and uh, they are going to qualify. So I'm going for a 1-1 one -one draw. How about you? So uh, before you, 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 maybe your prediction or I give my prediction, uh -huh. I want to know. Yeah. Uh, the Champions League scrapped their way goals. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. So, what do Borussia Dortmund need to qualify to advance to the next stage? Um, they need a draw. A draw. Yeah, or a win. A so for them, win. they no, just I'm talking about the list like they can yeah, get. The list they can get is a draw for them to qualify. Doesn't matter the goals. Yeah, and and if it's uh, two, two, three, 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 they are through. Yeah, the only way they are out of the tournament if if Chelsea win by two goals, two goals without yep. conceding, without conceding. Okay, so, maybe uh, before I give my prediction, I'll go straight <laughs> to I'll go straight to, to the team uh, news. The team news. Uh -huh. uh, it's always good to know to who know is playing, playing and who, and who is not playing. Yeah, uh, with of Chelsea, course, I already they know have a number of players. They have a number of players who are not in. Mason Wound is out uh, through suspension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aubameyang is in part of the uh, squad. The squad uh, and Broja can't, uh, can't uh, resume training, but, uh, but this might game comes too soon for him. Cesar Zipliqueta is also out, yeah. and Rhys James uh, Pulisic, doubtful. Yeah. So and uh, Thiago Silva as well. I think he was uh, injured. Thiago Silva is yeah. said to be out for at least seven 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 weeks. weeks so that means uh, a huge setback for chelsea he is a leader legend yeah one of the most important chelsea players this season as much as they've been doing bad so yeah yeah uh, at home chelsea gonna score mm -hmm. i feel chelsea will score at home yeah uh they, they picked a win over the weekend against yeah. leeds united and i understand that this game now uh, it will boost them yeah They're getting a win after a streak of uh, winless matches mm -hmm. Chelsea got uh, the goal and yeah. they won one nil yeah they are not fond of scoring many goals so I expect them to to score and mm -hmm. I expect Borussia Dortmund also to score, score. As well. so I'll go for a draw a draw of how many goals let me pick a draw of <laughs> Chelsea one Borussia Dortmund one Man. so I think, I, I, I think do you know why I went draw. silent over there yeah I went for a 1-1 one, one draw. Last time? No, this time. This time you've gone for a 1-1 one, one draw. A one, I think uh, it's going to be it's a draw. A, yeah, you, we, uh, it, it's going to be a draw. Yeah. Could be, but uh, Borussia Dortmund will advance. Chelsea will be knocked out. Okay. We've seen many people saying now Chelsea play well in the Champions League when mm -hmm. the Premier League they're not performing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think today, today currently yeah. is, uh, and is, and is Even is just opposite. take a look at the game they played uh, during the weekend. Uh, it's, their, it's a defender who scored and it tells you much about the team. Yeah. And um, yeah, they kept a, a clean sheet, but then again, uh, I think this one could end in a draw as we predicted. So let's see how Chelsea let's see goes. If it goes. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday, mm -hmm. we have Bayern Munich hosting mm -hmm. uh, Paris Saint Germain, Germain at Allianz Arena. Uh -huh. One of the biggest games in the expected. We know the previous encounter ended in a 1 0 win, win for, in P, favor. Uh, for Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. Uh, Munich, uh, maybe to say early in mm -hmm. advance, yeah. Pavard will not be 
feature available. He picks up the second booking mm. uh, in the stoppage time. Yeah, after he out. fouled Lionel Messi. Yes. One so of the before, nasty tackles that I saw in the game. True. Yeah. Before we go to, to the prediction, uh -huh. can you check who is playing for PSG? Yeah. Ne um, Neymar. Neymar is out of the season. Actually, he underwent surgery and uh, so sad that he's, gonna, he's not going to be part of uh, this season anymore. And um, that's a huge setback for PSG, you know. They, yeah. uh, M M uh, they call M N M. Yeah, M N M is usually very um, a fierce attack. Mbappe and, uh, and Messi. Messi. Yeah, yeah and uh, him missing means. Uh, uh, the Lord to carry PSG comes to Messi and Mbappe. I yeah. think these are two clear, two key players who are able to carry any team, even uh, on individual basis. Yeah. We've seen Mbappe do that when Messi wasn't playing at some point when he was injured. And we saw Messi as well do that for many teams. And I think it's going to be a very difficult match. I know many people think that um, the, the Bayern won at, um, at, uh, in Paris. Paris. Now yeah. they think that it's going to be easy at the it's Allianz Arena. The, uh, princess. In the Champions League, it's never like that. Again, it's never like that. So. I expect PSG to score, Bayern will score, but uh, Bayern will have an edge over PSG just because of uh, the home um, ground. So I'm going for 2-2 um, two, two draw. 2-2 two, two draw. Yeah. Uh, PSG, uh, I mean, uh, Bayern Munich will, will miss the services of Manuel Neuer, uh -huh. who is out yeah. uh, through injury. So yeah. it means Soma who yeah, will Soma. be stepping in uh -huh. for the German international. Yeah. And also, Sadio Mane has not featured for Bayern. For some and time. There is a chance he could feature, he could feature on Wednesday. As well. mm. So um, I think um, PSG will mm, be knocked out mm -hmm. on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So I'll go for Bayern Munich win. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll predict a 2-1 win. A 2-1 win, win for Bayern. 2-1 win for Bayern Munich. Yeah, I think it's a good prediction. But for me, I stick with my 2-2 draw because I still think PSG are going to push Bayern to the limits. Yeah. But Bayern will not be moved at home. PSG and, um, is a team which collapses and you know yeah, that. Sometimes, yeah. And uh, if you go away and you know Alliance Arena has mm -hmm. a lot of noise, like mm -hmm. you make a lot of noise. Yeah. So just like we I told you about Manchester United going to Anfield. Uh -huh. We'll talk about that at some point. The home fans, home crowd co contributes a lot. Yeah, yeah, you'll yeah. go to Old Trafford, they'll make a lot of noise and you yeah, leave yeah, there yeah. without a point. Yeah. So I think uh, my prediction is 2-1. Uh, 2-1. Uh, win for Bayern Yeah, Munich. you wait and see. Me, I think uh, uh, Bayern are just going to do everything to make sure they qualify. Yeah. Because after uh, knocking out PSG, they might be the favourites again for this uh, UEFA Champions we League season. We have uh, Tottenham taking yeah. AC Milan. Uh -huh. Huh. Interesting yeah. encounter. Uh, Tottenham okay. lost. Yeah, Tottenham lost. It's the opening match. Uh, one, one nil. Yes. At San Siro. And I remember predicting that they're not going to get a result I over there. I thought they were going to hold for a draw as they mm, wait. They're coming back, right? Uh, uh, it's a team I like. It's a team I love watching sometimes. But they have really disappointed me this season. And um, I didn't see even them losing to Wolves during the weekend. And I tend to think um, their last difference. year's mentality is not this year's mentality. Something has happened along the way. Something tough. that uh, we expect because... Conte is a short-term manager. Very soon, maybe you will hear rumors that, especially if Liverpool come for fourth, there's gonna be something. This is these are the things maybe we will discuss in our Premier League uh, episode. Pre yeah. But for this game, I think they're gonna go out. Uh, yeah, AC Milan are coming maybe for a draw as well, and it could be one-one. Tottenham out. Tottenham out. Yeah. Uh, how about uh, AC Milan? They get another victory of one nil. They could, but as well, uh, Tottenham would want to prove themselves at home, yeah. and they are not gonna. It's not gonna be easy for AC Milan as well. And uh, you know, mostly in uh, in Champions League, if you've noticed, uh, many teams, especially uh, teams that um, maybe are not doing so well, AC Milan are doing are not doing so well. Yeah. They come uh, when they get a result at home. Most of the time, they they go away to a kind of defend, control the game until it's over. So I'm guessing. Uh, Leo and uh, the rest of the core will have a good game, you know, but then again, it will. AC Milan is a team which collapses. I always tell people, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take you back when AC Milan played against Arsenal in the Champions League. Aha, uh -huh, I remember. Leading by, I think, three goals, and uh -huh. Arsenal 
scored the same in, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the reverse fix. Actually, mm-hmm. they scored four. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh, during the times of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, when yeah, he yeah. was before leaving, and now he's back, right? Ah, uh-huh, he's back. So yeah, I think AC Milan will manage to proceed to the next stage, mm-hmm. and uh, Tottenham out. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll predict a one nil win for a AC nil Milan. For AC Milan again. Yes. Then we move. We are done with Champions, Champions League. Champions League we now. We move quick to, to the Europa, Europa League. League. Yeah. On Thursday, two big teams in the Premier League. Yeah. Arsenal will be in action. Manchester will be in action. But let's start mm-hmm. with Arsenal away to Sporting CP. Yeah. It is a team which uh, many goals don't happen. Mm-hmm. They met in 2018, still in uh-huh. the Europa League. Yep. And I understand uh, Arsenal uh, beat uh, Sporting CP 1-0. 1-0. Before yep. the reverse fixture ending yep. in a barren draw. Yeah. So, um, what do you think? Another, another reminder just for this fixture as well is uh, Sporting CP were in the UEFA Champions League. They came uh, to Europa, they were able to win their um, playoff match. They qualified, they qualified uh, to Europa League <laughs> through Champions League. Yeah, through, through getting beat. <laughs> yeah, you know, UEFA is for the big guns. Yes, when you get beat, you come join the... Uh, but they have a, there is a certain stage, that is yeah. only for group stages. Yeah, so um, they are a good team. I remember uh, I've been able to watch a few of their games, especially when they played Tottenham as well, yeah. in their group stage of the UEFA Champions League, and um, they have a good squad. Even in their local league, they're doing well yeah, in Portugal. Doing well. Yeah. And uh, for me, it's a difficult match for Arsenal, and I'm going to go for... Um, Arsenal is a team that can score goals, so um, I'm tempted to say nil-nil, but I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. 1-1 draw. Yeah. Or if things go worse for Arsenal, they might even lose this game. One nil or two. If one. they go us or they go good, you you say if things go well for us, <laughs> okay. They if, lose. if things go bad, oh I bad, oh, I understand <laughs> now. Yeah, I think um, Arsenal have shown them winning mentality. Uh-huh. We saw it over the weekend when they yeah. beat. They came from two goals down mm-hmm. uh, to win uh, three, three two, two against Bournemouth yeah. at Emirates. Yeah, yeah. But you know. Uh, I think Arteta is won't uh, prioritize the Europa League uh-huh. because now I think if you could ask exactly. uh, Arsenal fans right now, mm-hmm. what do you want to win this season? Is it yeah. the Europa League or uh, the Premier League? Yeah, I'm sure m- many will say let's focus on the, the Premier League. The Premier League, and especially because now top four is sealed for Arsenal. Yeah, top four is sealed. So for next Europa season. League will not be of a huge importance. Yes, it's and that's official. Arsenal will play. I think in the in the like, The way things look. It's uh, official, like uh, as as unless you know, unless a tragedy chance, happens. A tragedy, yeah. it, in football, it can happen. <laughs> yeah. But the mentality and the tempo they have, hmm. their consistency, yeah. uh, like you can, you can top, four top four is sealed. Still top yeah, four. Yeah. Uh, what is sealed right now? It they cannot go for relegation yeah, at yeah, this yeah. stage. Yeah, 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 for yeah sure. because uh, mathematically. Yeah. But then again, uh, I expect Arteta to do some team rotation, mm-hmm. and of course, team rotation can bring in in balance in the team. In the team, and we'll realize if you obviously we expect Matt Turner to start mm-hmm. the match. Mm-hmm. We expect probably somebody like Thomas Partey mm-hmm. could be out, mm-hmm. and Georgino steps in. Yeah, we expect. Uh, Trossard is injured actually. Trossard is injured. doubtful. Mm-hmm. So we expect the likes of Saka could could, re- could, could rest. Uh, could rest or they, they could come from the bench. Yes. Yeah. Bearing in mind they have a derby over the weekend yeah. against Fulham on Fulham. Sunday. Yeah, very difficult game. So as well. I expect team rotation and if you rotate your team too much, Something. it will cost you. Yeah, 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 it yeah. might cost you. Might cost so at some point I, I could agree with you in terms mm-hmm. of uh, they know how the important uh, Sunday's fixture against Fulham is important. Mm-hmm. Uh, so will do team rotation. Yeah. Uh, the backline could be changed. Uh-huh. The likes of um, Saliba could go Saliba. to the bench. Yeah. Tomiyasu, Kirantini mm-hmm. could start and yeah. meaning uh, Rob Holding stepping in. Yeah. So if Arsenal keep their squad, mm-hmm. they'll win this match 2-1. Yeah. A 2-1 victory for Arsenal. Mm-hmm. Tough game, close one. Mm-hmm. But team rotation could actually Arsenal hold for a draw mm-hmm. of 1-1 like you've said. If, yeah. if I see in Premier League what you do, in, in tournaments what you do, you bring your team, yeah. a lesser team, a, like team B, yeah. with experienced team on the bench. If mm-hmm. it's for Manchester United, let the likes of Ganacho start, yeah. you bench the, the likes of Rashford and exactly. then you see how it and happens. That's, uh, so but if Arsenal are going to win that match, they will go home with a very good result to kill it off. Yeah. And I'm sure everyone wants a trophy, so they want to do it, you never only know. that there is a little priority somewhere else. Yeah. So, yeah, let's hope uh, for a good squad. We always want to see, uh, you know, people have paid for these matches to be able, yeah. they are bought tickets, very expensive And like tickets. you, are, yeah, I know you'll be betting. <laughs> you tell people Arsenal you lose, then, then you bet on Arsenal to win. Ah, so no, I don't no, understand. No, 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 no. If yeah. there's a team that I can't put money on right now, is 
Arsenal, why? Arsenal. They've been winning. They've been winning, but yes. any t- every time I place a bet on them, they... They lose. They, 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 they lose. They piss <laughs> on the bet like nonsense. I understand. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, the other match will be Manchester United taking on uh, Real Betis. Mm-hmm. I, it is a La Liga team, team again. Which has been doing well. Yeah. And now... Before we go to the team news, as always, mm-hmm. you, the moment the reason why I always uh, my interest is to bring the team news so that you can understand who will be playing, who will not be playing. Mm-hmm. No, Manchester United are tortured mentally. Yep. Following their seven nil loss, humbling humiliation, that was humiliation. Uh, to uh, against Liverpool. Yeah. And now everybody is under pressure. Mm. I expect a lot of team rotation f- from Ten Hag. Mm-hmm. Uh, the likes of on the right back uh, Diogo Dalot. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have the other side, uh, Luke Shaw mm-hmm. in the midfield. We could expect a lot of a team, lot of rotation, changes, team yeah, rotations. Sure. That's why it's, it's tough. Yeah. Do you think uh, Liverpool's uh, loss to Manchester United could impact United in a negative way? Look, in the you know what? Day? I don't want to even talk about the Liverpool's match. That was a disaster class for Manchester United. <laughs> I mean, leave alone. Okay, we can have excuses like... Um, Manchester United have been playing after every three days, so that is three games a week or something. But you don't go to your rival, biggest. and uh, that is the biggest rivalry in, in England. The, in England, actually. It is and uh, you show your weaknesses, and uh, you get mauled like that. Bro, it's I not supposed to happen. I, I mean, at 3-0, they three should one. have noticed. Look, there is three, a problem. Yes. Ten Hag should have been clever enough to throw in some, um, just tell those guys, just control the damage, it's already done, it's, it's, we it's can't gone. come back, we know we have been playing too much, at halftime I think maybe it was still uh, a winnable game because it's only, it was only one, one nil. nil, but then again, uh, personally uh, maybe I'm going to talk maybe more about Manchester United for in, the Premier League when Premier we, League yeah, when we are going we, to be reviewing uh, uh, the next can, match day, but for now, all they need to the, do, is just to win this game. Bounce back. Just bounce back. No excuses, no explanation. Just win. We need a win. And a clean sheet will be good for them. You know, uh, for now, uh, like I mentioned in terms of team rotation, yeah. it is the big, biggest challenge yeah. of the football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you need to understand, United are under pressure right now. Mm-hmm. They need to respond. Marcus Rashford posted. Yeah. We wish we could play today again. <laughs> so I'll understand With why United. Energy? I understand With what energy? why uh, maybe Rashford has a winning mentality. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. But you know, uh, you blaming uh, Ten Hag for not bringing in good players against uh, Liverpool, mm-hmm. bro. We've seen Manchester United. Uh, we are calling them kings of comeback. Mm. Some people we have been joking around. Don't mm. score fast against Man United. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now, if you if United have come from behind like five games in yeah. a row and yeah. they win, why not Liverpool, a team which has not been doing well? So Ten Hag went there and was like, you know what, guys, we've been here before, mm-hmm. and we can. We can still do it. We can still do it. But unfortunately, I think uh, the goals came in quick, yeah. in flash, and uh, United. Uh, yeah. So, so no, I think um, playing, against, happened, uh, um, playing against Real Betis, Real Betis, who are doing well in La Liga, uh, I think uh, La Liga teams have always been a problem for Man United. For Man United. I remember the likes of Real yes, Sociedad. Season long, it's been always a problem. And um, I can't say, we, yeah, we, we Manchester United won uh, comfortably against Barcelona, especially after putting up a good performance. Oh, man, but Real Betis is going to be a problem, let me tell you. And um, I think we're going to win this one. But it's we're gonna struggle again. But as I've said, Man United need, need to, to win, win this game. Need to win. Yeah, so that they go to the weekend com- confident enough to be able to push on through the season. So I'm going for a two nil win. Two nil win. Yeah. If you were to ask me, uh-huh. a week or two ago, uh-huh. how this match will pan out, mm-hmm. I'll tell you it's a simple win for Manchester United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now following the 7 nil thrashing to uh-huh. Liverpool, uh-huh. you are disoriented uh-huh. mentally. Uh-huh. So United uh-huh. need confidence. This is a match to build. This is not a match to win. Uh-huh. This is a match to build their confidence. Uh-huh. Over the weekend in the Premier League, they are playing against uh, Crystal Palace? Uh, should no. be... Is it Fulham? No. Fulham is playing Southampton. Against Southampton. Southampton, Southampton at home. Yeah. yeah, that's a team which I feel Sutton match could have come before the Real this Betis match, match because yeah. against Sutton it's a bit easier than mm-hmm. this one. Yeah. But it's a, at Old Trafford. Real Betis will score. Mm. Manchester United will score. I'll go for a draw. You go for a draw. I'll go one for one, one, draw. one draw. Okay. Uh, at Old Trafford, then Manchester United will bounce back. We'll get back to winning this on mm. on Sunday when we do the. Review. Still a good prediction. Yeah, I think. Uh, We'll see how it goes. Maybe maybe to ask a question before now we wind up because that's our last match. Yeah, yeah. If you are uh, Ten Hag, Mm -hmm. 
what will you tell your players heading to this match or thus this match how will your shape be in terms of uh, the footballing like the formation who will play what do you think we should drop immediately to bench all right uh, this could be very easy, as much as it's always hard to be a manager of a, especially a Premier League team, yeah. a Premier League top side like Man United. It's tough. But for me, it could be very easy. Uh, what I'll do is, uh, first of all, I'll tell my players, like, whatever happened at Anfield, as much as we can't forget about it right now, we need to try and forget about it. And we need to focus on what we've been able to build up from since the start of the season. We were, Manchester United, are, were, we were very bad, like I'm speaking like now, the Manchester United manager. And after the two games, it was very, very bad, but we managed to come up, up, up with uh, a lot of wins, which have been crucial to our season. We kept believing, so let that belief not stop now. I think uh, in the game against Liverpool, a lot of... Uh, bizarre kind of moments happened we're trying to clear the ball it's going to back to uh, our players and then uh, they get the goals and we need to be more organized this much so uh Dalot, i'm gonna arrest you for the weekend and i'm gonna have uh one bisaka, one bisaka. back in the one bisaka son to <laughs> <Dukai Osaka. laughs> i'm gonna have one bisaka back uh in the um, in the team, I'm going to have De Gea as well, just uh, for the goalkeeping. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot sub that guy. Yeah, yeah we don't have, uh, right, right right now we don't have any other backup. player uh, to put Good in there backup. for big games like those. Because this is our competition that we need to win because on the Premier League, you see what happened? What happened, yeah. yeah. So, I've seen a certain meme, uh -huh. editor kindly do that thing. <laughs> Somebody like uh, is showing some some people, they are they, they're using a motorbike, uh -huh. they have four guys. Yeah. Uh, the, the drive, the, I mean, the guys, uh, we have Arsenal, uh -huh. Arsenal, Man City, Man City and then Newcastle, Newcastle then, then Man United is a monkey. Sitting, so, sitting at the edge. At the edge. So, so somebody saying, just a bump and no good drops. <laughs> anyway, yeah. we will come to those memes again. Most of them when we are discussing the Premier League. But for now, uh, I think that is the major change that I'll do. Yeah. I'll put Dalot out. i try to start Malaysia and then uh, on the, at the centre-back, rest one of Varane or uh, especially Varane. Rest him because actually before uh, the game against... I would rest, I would rest uh, Lissandro. I know why, but just shut up. You okay. give, you have... Sorry, 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 sorry. Continue. <laughs> well, shut up, shut up, shut up. Why so up, wind up? I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, I'm winding up. So I will uh, rest uh, Varane as well. And then I'll put Maguire in there to play My with. My captain. Uh, yeah, your captain. Legend should start. leader. Yeah. yeah. Bruno should also. Okay, he's been playing every game and he had a horrible the game cry, against baby. Liverpool. And um, I think he, if I were me, He's important to the team, he'll start, but I, I won't put him in the wing. So i uh, try to mix up my midfield, a little Casemiro in there. And Sabita. And, uh, <laughs> Sa sorry, Sabita. Anyway, I think that is what I think Manchester United need. Just make a few changes for them to be able to be ready for this match. And then they are going to win that match 2-0. Yes, that's my prediction. Cool. Yeah. I hold on to my 1-1 one, one drop. Ah, so, yeah. Uh, do you have anything else? Not at all. Yeah, I, I knew maybe you would start your means again. I'll banter um, you in the next episode. It's all right. So I'll we, banter in the next We episode. have come to the end of uh, our UEFA um, Europa. Europa League. Uh, so, again, like, as always, uh, we need you to predict these games as well and let us know if you think PSG are going to defeat uh, Bayern at Allianz Arena. Tell us if Arsenal are going to get a defeat in Portugal and tell us as well if Manchester United are going to get a defeat at Old Trafford. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so we've come to the end of the UEFA Champions League. My name is Brian. They call me Vincent. And, and this is the Liquid Sports Show.